I said, oh, this, this corona thing has distracted us. Um, but Mother Nature isn't on hold. Hello, everybody. Josh Rimini here with your Functional RX podcast. And today, this episode, we're going to talk again about allergies. Yeah, we did this about a year ago because this was the time the allergies start coming. So, yeah, great time to do it again. I was thinking about this today uh, as I was cleaning off my deck and getting ready for all the pollen to come. And then I saw the news article about you know, where the pollen level, how high it is right now, and the, the oak and the pine and all that stuff. And I said, oh, this, this corona thing has distracted us, um, but Mother Nature isn't on hold. She didn't get distracted. She didn't get the message. Um, so we kind of, we kind of, I, I wanted to make sure we, we talked about allergies because, you know, in this state of social distancing and staying inside and or maybe not even staying outside, just going for a walk, you know. Yeah, because it might be better for you to go outside. Um, we're, there are things we can do besides antihistamines uh, and Zyrtec and all Allegra and all that type of stuff, Benadryl, because people, you know, talk a lot about, okay, I have allergies um, and I need to take some anti-allergy kind of medicine like an antihistamine. But, you know, what I've recommended for years is really looking at supporting immune balance uh, similarly, but different than viral type stuff. Cause this is your body's, your body really isn't designed from a, from a total perspective to actually have allergies. There's something going on that's in, heightened the immune system. It's got, it's up on, on high alert, right? Where you're so reactive to pollen, let's say, or some type of allergen that's outdoor that spring's coming. And all of a sudden you get all those symptoms, you know, stuffy, coffee, all that type of thing, you know, runny nose, stuffy head, foggy brain, all that kind of stuff. And so my, my functional brain always goes into why, right? Why is that going on? How can we, how can we move, move more upstream and not downstream? In other words, you know, how do we treat these things at the the why? How do we treat them at the forefront? So the symptom doesn't happen at the end. And that's what we usually think to treat allergies is, well, I'm treating that symptom, not the cause of the, the issue. So, you know, we've been selling products at the store c- for years now, and they work really effectively. Uh, one's called uh, Natural Dehist. It's by Orthomolecular. That's always your favorite one to go to. Um, well, we'll talk a little bit because the company that I, I – I like it. I think it's a really good one. It supports immune balance when they're, when it's in hypersensitive individuals, right, when we have that sensitive to the allergy. It supports sinus and respiratory health, um, viscosity of the mucus, and clears the nasal passages, but it's got targeted ingredients that really help stabilize – the system from releasing the histamine. They're called mast cells. And these a lot of these things, quercetin is the big component in this one, um, and bromelain, which is a plant enzyme found in the stem of pineapples, um, things to help with uh, mucolytic agents, to help with the viscosity of the mucus is the anacetylcysteine. Of course, vitamin C works great, um, and stinging nettles. And that's kind of the... the, the, uh, the the way the the components of dehist, um, I help our Dilworth brand vitamins are made by a company called Vinco, um, and I help them formulate now too. So we formulated one that's similar to this. Um, What's that one called? It's called uh, I think it's called Hist Resist. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So we've got one in the store also called Hist Resist, and they added curcumin to it, um, which is a good nice uh, helps with the gut, helps with some anti-inflammatory, uh, really works well. So we kind of we kind of took a good and I think maybe made it better. And I think people like both of them. So uh, we, we sell them both. We recommend them both. Um, and what's important to know is when you start a nutrient or nutritional products, we're really affecting the body's biochemistry. We're not blocking the symptom like a drug. So a drug goes kind of a lock and key and it has an effect. So we really have to saturate the system with all these nutrients get them on board, get them in the cells, get them working. So we always load these doses up. So with dehist or the hist resist, it's really two capsules for adults three times a day. 
we recommend that for seven to ten days. So we call it like a loading dose. Well, yeah. Um, Anybody that's been in the weight room, that's the creatine loading period. So <laughs> it's the only way I understand it. So you do it three times a day. You load up the nutrients into the system. And then after that, it's just two capsules daily. And then we've got a chewable version for kiddos. Uh, what's What I love about this supplement is it really works well in, in the, the the different types of nutrients that are in this, the, the formulation. But it also is non-drowsy, doesn't interact with medications. Uh, can be used in synergy with the nasal sprays and the antihistamines and everything. And then we work people off some of those meds. I, my new term is de-prescribing. Um, because truthfully, even the non-drowsy antihistamines, they can make you feel swampy and mm-hmm. heady. So, um, and they really don't help as much as I'd like them to. So um, this is awesome stuff. You know, we really want to get to the upstream, like I said, um, to get to that why. Um, and I always recommend some gut balancing for people because a lot of allergens and your defense is your gut, right? Yeah. 70% of your immune system is controlled by your gut. Yeah. So a lot of people don't think of that. Probiotics and healing up the gut with some s- other types of things. Uh, we're, we're using the IgG Protect and the I- SBI Protect. They're both immune globulins. One's derived from colostrum. One's derived from, uh, from serum. And... We're using those to heal the gut to help with COVID and, and Corona. So I heal I heal the gut a lot with different types of mechanisms. So for me, it's like, wow, what if we use that and we can get gut health and we can help with Corona and getting super sick from that. Yeah, it's like a super supplement. And hey, maybe we can use it for people that have allergies, you know. It's not going to get to the allergy piece, but it's going to get to that underlying, underlying piece, Right. right. I are always any, get to the whys. Are there any foods you recommend for people that have high allergies or foods to stay away from? Well, some people that have high histamine load, right? Um, you can Google it, but there's histamine-rich foods. So you want to limit some of those histamine-rich foods if you're in an allergic state, right? Gotcha. Um, and that goes beyond food sensitivities. We've talked right. about that in the past. Um, but... It makes sense to me if you're if you're releasing all this histamine, why eat more histamine, right? So, um, lowering you know the histaminic load of all those foods. Um, Google Google histamine rich foods, you'll see them. A, a lot of our food plans we give people in our wellness programs will have a little H on it. Mm. If I'm gonna have a you know lower that type of stuff, so that's kind of where where we go with that. And and then taking these seasonal support type nutritional products throughout the season to help stabilize the system hmm. you know and then again it's that offense defense approach to the immune system but in this way we're really bolstering up and, and helping that immune system uh, prevent all those symptoms that people are really so worried about fixing right we got to get to some of that the reason behind it so yeah. fix the gut take some seasonal support that are natural uh, and effective um, and that should be helpful. And then the, you know, it's weird because everyone's inside and they're not outside. And now the pollen's here, so they go back inside. And well, I remember one thing you recommended a while back was honey too, like local honey, because yes. they're already getting the pollen and it helps you. Prevent. So how so, that work? So bees that make honey are making it from the local flowers, right? So we, we use cloister honey, um, and they've got uh, the delo- and it's delicious too, which is great. Yeah, you can't complain. Um, they've got um, they've got beehives and on skyscrapers and stuff like that. But literally using local, so Mecklenburg local honey that people that have outdoor allergies, it's like kind of like giving them a mini allergy shot, right? Hmm. It's it's giving these low low doses of allergens to help the body kind of create a, a balance through that. So. I just re- I just say to take the make sure it's local. We that's the reason we had it at the store, but it got so popular because people liked the taste of it. So we bought all the different flavors that weren't local. But buy local honey, um, and you got to eat it raw. Um, don't give it to little little kids because we don't give honey to little kids. Um, hmm. I don't remember what the age range is at this point, but it's 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 infants and stuff oh, like that. Okay. Um, because there there could be some immune issues, but local honey. It just needs to be raw. You can't put it in your, um, it loses its medicinal properties when you get it too hot. So you can't just like put it in your tea. 
Um, you can just eat it raw or on a, you know. You won't be disappointed. Toast or whatnot. Hey, I've I've used it quite successfully as a synergistic, you know, nice thing to do, and it tastes good. It's got, you know, it's it's natural um, sugar, so it's a little bit healthier. It's got low lower glycemic index. Yep. Uh, that type of thing. So, it and it tastes good. So why not do something that tastes good that's healthy for you, right? That's right. Because everyone complains that healthy, <laughs> healthy food doesn't taste good, but that's not one of the true. few. Um, hope this was helpful. Uh, get your seasonal support, just so we can, you know, make sure that we're helping ourselves not feel, you know, allergies. They can, they can make you really feel crappy. Yeah. Um, I, I don't knock on wood. I don't have allergies. But I do. My, my wife yeah. does. Yeah, I she's, do. she's, she reminds me every season, like, uh, yeah, I gotta do that thing. Yep. Um, so support the system, uh, and feel better. Stay well, everybody. I'm Josh Rimini. This is your functional RX podcast.